Ignition enabled, starter. I'm Virgil and I'm the owner of Thor, an M923A2 five ton technical cargo truck. part of an M939 series of tactical vehicles. This particular vehicle and series of vehicles were manufactured for the U.S. military. Production started in 1982 and replaced the previous generation of five-ton vehicles, which were the M809s. This generation of five-ton military trucks incorporated the Allison five-speed automatic transmission, uh, full hydraulic power steering, and full air brakes. The previous generation of five-tons were actually air over hydraulic. This is full air brakes like you would see in a commercial truck today. This particular vehicle is the A2, so it's an M923A2. And the A2's incorporated both the Cummings 8.3 liter turbo diesel that makes about 21 pounds of boost at peak boost. And also they added what's called the central tire inflation system with a push of a button and you can change the tire pressure on all six tires on the fly from 70 PSI for highway to 45 PSI for cross country to 35 PSI in sand, and in emergency mode is 25 PSI. And then there's a run flat mode. So in case you take a nine millimeter into the sidewall, you hit run flat and every 15 seconds, the, the truck tries to reinflate the tires. The cargo bed is seven and a half feet wide and 14 feet deep and has a five ton capacity. It can actually carry considerably more than five tons and it can tow 15 tons. Thor has a top speed of about 62 miles an hour on level ground. Uh, the minute you hit a headwind or any type of grade, uh, 55 is your friend. Fuel capacity of this particular version is 77 gallons with a single tank. Uh, some options have another 50 plus gallons on the other side. Mine is a single tank. The vehicle gets about eight to nine miles to the gallon and with a 77 gallon tank, what's that? Probably 600 to 700 miles on a tank of fuel. The cooling system is 44 quarts. The crankcase is 20 quarts of oil and the transfer case is 19 quarts. The rear two axles are always engaged. So it's always in four wheel drive. And then when you need six wheel drive or additional tractive force, there's a dash lever and you hit that and it engages pneumatically the front axle and you goes into six wheel drive. Thor was part of the Washington State National Guard from 1990 to 2011. And the battalion that Thor belonged to, the 81-181, was deployed multiple times to Iraq during the early stages of the conflict. So when you look at Thor, he originally was painted NATO uh, camouflage, you know, that olive drab camo scheme that we typically see. But when vehicles were deployed to Iraq, they were put through an assembly line and spray painted desert sand because a, a olive drab truck sticks out pretty hard in the sands. So this is the government issue military truck anti-theft device. Chain welded to seat, frame, lock. And there you go. Nothing happens quickly in Thor. Everything is about seven to 10 times bigger than any other vehicle I've worked on and heavier and has a torque spec accordingly. So I needed a whole new set of tools. I thought I had a pretty awesome set of tools by working on cars. This is a whole nother level. Starting with a torque wrench that goes out to 650 foot pounds. Didn't have one of these with a three quarter inch end. So that turned out to be exceptionally handy. The, the torque setting for the lug nuts is about 400 foot pounds. The split rims uh, are 200 foot pounds each. And there's 10 of those plus 10 lug nuts. So for each wheel, you're doing 20, 20 nuts to either 200 or 400 foot pounds of torque. That's a long day. This is the military, the official military uh, seal installer tool to properly set and center the hub seals within the hubs. To get the hubs off, you need a four and seven eighths inch socket. <laughs> and its companion to torque down is another four and three eighths. So yeah, I didn't have that in my Craftsman tool set. The vehicle has a pair of storage lockers on the passenger side, and this is where I keep a lot of the tools I need to get to in an emergency. Uh, I keep toe straps and other equipment here, and including water bottles and some extra oil and coolant. Uh, and in here, of course, I keep my wrench 
for doing any, you know, doing a tire rotation, wheel chocks, air hose. The thing is a roving six wheel drive air compressor. This is the torque wrench that one needs to use to uh, take and do a tire change on Thor. Uh, the lug nuts are torqued to 400 foot pounds, so I needed a new torque wrench. My Craftsman torque wrench wasn't gonna cut it. So it's an inch and a half socket and nuts. Another tool that I do use when I have had to change the tires is this huge breaker bar. Uh, getting the tire lined up onto the hub with the 10 lug nuts sometimes takes a little finesse and you gotta sit there and kinda inch it along and maneuver it to get it to line up. So this leverage is also your friend. So to drive Thor in California, it's registered as a historical vehicle. And as a historical vehicle, I don't need a, a commercial driver's license. So I'm able to drive Thor uh, with my regular driver's license. From a cold start, getting Thor ready takes about 15 to 20 minutes of walk around, inspection, uh, airing up the vehicle itself and also you know, warming up the engine of course as part of that process and then checking everything secure the spare tires are properly strapped down everything in the back of the truck is properly strapped down because it's a bumpy ride so everything really does need to be secure before you hit the road after spending a year and nine months working on Thor it became now what what do I do with it and I've always loved being outside I really enjoy it, so thought, why not see what it can do out on the trails? I know it's a bit of a bull in a china shop, if you will. It's, it's a big truck, but let's see what it can do. And let's see what I can do with it. I've really enjoyed off-roading so far. Uh, you meet a lot of great people. It's, it's just great to get away and clear your mind and go out and have some fun.